is a hunter-gatherer that lives with his family in the Gujarat of 10,000 years ago. In this region of northwest India, food can be scarce for long periods of time because of the semi-arid weather affected by strong monsoons. This is one of the most extreme, unpredictable climates in the world. How could they survive under such conditions? Were they forced to adapt and change their lifestyle? To answer these questions, we use agent-based computer simulations. There, Unga and his family are an agent with an artificial intelligence that allows them to explore their surroundings, choose forage sites, gain experience, and even plan future movements. Several families live and interact in this area, sharing the available resources. Their world is a precise recreation of the terrain and environment of this area, built from archaeological and climatic data. Each simulation recreates several years of their lives. We see them grow up, form new families, or search for food in different locations when driven by hunger. The extreme climate reflects in the random succession of droughts and rains that cause abundance or scarcity of food. That is, the success or the collapse of these societies. After several generations, we can extract information about their resilience. But the randomness of the weather and the free will of the agents make each simulation unique. That's why we need to perform thousands of simulations to observe trends and patterns. Due to climate change, in a not-so-distant future, a large part of our planet could become like Gujarat. Social simulations will help us in the search for adaptation to new environments. <coughs> Through them, we will know more about our relationship with our surroundings, as well as about the relevance of culture interaction. What happens when two strategies or lifestyles coexist? Can they live together? Does one learn from the other? Do they clash? Or do both disappear? By starting the simulations under different initial conditions, we can follow their evolution and analyze the competition between strategies. When does one prevail over the other? In the case of Gujarat, we find that hunter-gatherer and agro-pastoral societies may coexist if they can share the limited resources. If not, and given a critical mass of individuals in one side, the minority would embrace the other strategy, adapt or collapse. The choices we make at the crossroads of our history are unique. Computer simulations help us elucidate the decisions of past civilizations so we can understand the workings of our society and find solutions for the problems to come.